Hello? Anybody hear me? Yo, what's up guys? <laughs> uh, so sorry man. Alright, okay. So uh let me let me do this in a different manner. Okay, uh I think I lost a lot of people. <laughs> so sad. Uh okay. So guys, uh welcome back to the stream. Uh I had very much wanted to show you all some charts. Right, but unfortunately, um, because of some technical difficulties, I could not, uh, you know, yeah, I just I couldn't get the mic started running properly. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that with this uh, current market situation where we are at the 400 billion market cap, we are now very, very close to uh, that, that's, that support level. We have lost 50% from the all-time high at the moment. Um, we did below 400 billion which was something that um, I was I was kind of anticipating and it did happen nonetheless it's okay uh, I think we have uh, we have kind of found a rebound right a support and uh, Bitcoin now is currently back to uh, 8,900 from 8,000 so um, if you had uh, bravely kind of queued uh, at that price uh, you would probably be at least 10% uh, up already. Okay, and uh, with regards to Ethereum, I think Ethereum had a nice dip as well. Let me check my charts. Give me a second. Um, yeah, Ethereum dropped to uh, almost close to 800 US, uh, USD, right? And then uh, it, it rebounded very, very quickly. Now it's back to 937 as we speak. Um, I'm talking if with reference to Gemini. And um, right now, these two cryptocurrencies are the ones that you kind of want to start scooping up or gradually laddering in. Um, also, with the, the current market situation, it's more of a little bit of regulation come the US do uh, dollar tether. I think I've already mentioned that and highlight highlighted that prior to the stream. Uh, I mean, as in the, the two episodes before. And we want to be aggressive right now. So when I mentioned go hard, um, at the markets, I really mean go hard. Um, I had initially in the beginning of, of the year, actually uh, towards December, I mentioned to the stream to, to take profit. Okay, and uh, those who uh, had listened will definitely have this uh, cash on hand to gradually pick, pick things back up, right? And with this current cash, you can, you can surely position yourself way better. Now, of course, no one wants to leave the crypto, uh, cryptocurrency markets completely. I think it would take a genius. I didn't, I didn't do that. I definitely didn't, I didn't leave the cryptocurrency uh, markets. I left about 60% of my cryptocurrencies. 40% I actually uh, took profit into cash and gold, which I had highlighted uh, before the whole echo had started. Um, right now, I'm uh, re-accumulating uh, I'm re, uh, I'm re uh, quantum. Kyber Network and with a new addition which is Hopi token. I had very much wanted to show you guys um, the, the the whole Hopi interface but I think there are some people who are already on Hopi uh, so you know uh, it's 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 all right I think I just wanted to add that I have added that into my into my current long-term portfolio position I think Hopi is poised for more growth going forward um, they have not officially started their uh, uh, marketing campaign. So uh, I have already picked up Hopi. Uh, I didn't manage to buy anything during the, the package, right? Because they don't have an ICO. What they're doing is running a daily reward. So they're running a daily reward where I think every day at 10 a.m., you will try to buy Hopi tokens at um, you know at the various uh, packages right so if you can't buy um, usually you kind of have to pick it up on the secondary market then of course today having Bitcoin really tank very very hard um, I think no one is that da daring to buy anything but I think all the recent um, no Huobi is H-U-O H-U-O-B-I right okay so right now uh, we have this uh, situation where we have this situation where you want to start accumulating guys you don't want to hold back already because if you hold back okay if you hold back yeah h u o b i so if you hold back you're going to miss out on at least 
gathering some positions at this low because we look at the overall market cap is at 418 billion as we speak okay let me let me double let me let me just refresh I really need to get my mic sorted. I'm I'm really very puzzled what happened. Okay, so currently now we're at 430 billion in terms of market cap. So uh, we are kind of you know recovering. We lost about 120 billion. We lost about 120 billion um, in the last 24 hours. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, it is it is uh, it 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 is quite yeah it's quite shocking. 120 billion lost in 24 hours is quite insane. Um, but hey, you know what? That's the cryptocurrency markets. And I think a lot of people actually got hurt, right? Uh, a lot of people who bought at the high, they are now you know, having, having this frustration. Okay? So, wait. Dharma brother. So, did you hear about Merrill Lynch sell signal triggered as market faces more, more losses ahead and the beginning of the stock bear market can be good for crypto? Right. Okay. That, that is a very, very interesting scenario, man. Okay, so uh, so I think I think right now um, the banks are planning to re are, are definitely positioning themselves to actually buy up cryptocurrencies. Um, they want to own some. Okay, they want to own some. This is a possibility. I wouldn't say that it's confirmed, but Goldman, I I think Goldman, J.P. Morgan, they are definitely in the positions in some manner. Either they're shorting or they're planning to long. Right. So yeah, this is this is the time where people who are have people who have been in the market long enough, they can uh, try to position themselves, start buying BTC. Ether, I would say that it's not extremely attractive, right? Ether did go to a low of I think about close to seven hundred bucks, um, based on what I saw, but I think BTC has a lot a lot of value because when I saw BTC, it was at eight thousand. Right, so I hope that people actually had the courage to kind of wire money a few days before, and position themselves and start buying. So you don't have to go all in. It's one of those times when it's the end of the month, or at least it's the beginning of the month. You would have accumulated. I mean, you would have had your your pay already, your income, right? You would dedicate a small portion of that to uh, accumulating some BTC. From there, you may want to extend that. Wait for the wait for the strength of BTC or Ethereum to take place, then start buying into your favorite altcoins. Now a lot of the altcoins that I that I bought, right, um, are are the standard CG picks, which is Quantum, Kyber Network. Now, Quantum and Kyber Network are the standard. So I have a total of uh, five cryptocurrencies that I have in my portfolio at the moment. So just want to put that out. So Quantum, BTC oh, so we have BTC, Ethereum, we have Quantum. And last but not least, we have um, and last but not least, we have Kyber Network, and we have Hopi. So yeah, so this is this is uh, one of those things uh, that uh, we want to do. Yeah, uh, the Quantum rocket launch was a success. Okay, so so this is this is something good. Wow, I didn't I didn't know that uh dot com was cash rich man. Awesome. Awesome dot com. Happy for you bro. Um Cardano okay Cardano after okay after speaking to after having that interview with Charles, right? I think he was very honest. He knows that he knows what this space requires. There's a lot of time that is uh that he, he knows that he needs time to build uh, Cardano, right? He already mentioned that. So it will most likely see stronger infrastructural plays or developments towards Q3. Yeah. So Cardano-wise, I would say that if you're really interested in accumulating it, it will be a very, very long-term hodl. Meaning that you'll have to hodl all the way until 2019, 2020. That is the that is the time frame that you have to kind of give yourself. Because if you don't have that kind of time frame, you're actually gonna have um you you're actually gonna be having your liquidity stuck. So try to understand one thing. He did mention that this space is still very very new. There's a lot of things that need to be done, and um you know you need to take some time to rebuild. You have to really build that. So he's not rushing into it. 
yeah, don't over leverage in Cardano. You know, he he's not saying that you know it's gonna moon or anything like that. Um, okay, Kai, okay for Komodo, uh, Miguel, I don't own any Komodo. I did buy Komodo very long time back, but I did cash out. Um, it's not that I don't like the project. It's just that I want to be more focused on the ones that I'm very, very familiar with. Komodo, I'm not as familiar, although I do like the team. I did interview the team. I think they are someone. They are they are those who are very very focused on development. Yeah. So so this is this is one of those things. But Komodo is a good project, guys. Don't get me wrong. If you are someone who has been following Komodo longer than I have, you are more familiar than me. This time is the is very very good for you to accumulate because everything tanked, guys. And Komodo is here to stay because they ha they already have their barter decks up and running. It's just a matter of finding more liquidity providers. Zil uh, Zil Zilika? Stellar, hmm. Stellar Lumens. Okay, Stellar Lumens. I think it's bit. You know, Stellar Lumens. I am not. I'm not a fan of Stellar. All right, I'm not a fan of Stellar. I'm not a fan of uh, Cash. Right. So you know, it's just. It's just. I'm looking at. Uh, hey hey. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I'm looking at already two centralized and decentralized spaces. So it's Hopi, and I'm looking at Kyber Network. So these are my two picks. And of course, last but not least, we have Quantum, right? Quantum already has that infrastructure. So right now, right, uh, I am looking into uh, AI and deep learning. Okay, these, these particular cryptocurrencies, AI and deep learning are, are one of those cryptocurrencies that I might want to add on maybe about 5 to 10 percent are we having a bull trap right uh, are we having a bull trap uh not really um i would say that we have already kind of tanked whatever we want to tank and there's a lot of uh, there's there's a lot of fun right now in the markets and if you were to kind of just position yourself and start buying i think it would be good okay trx is a very small portion of my portfolio five percent so I'm just seeing what happens for, for it during the year. I'm not rushing to buy a lot of it. Yeah, Deep Brain Chain is uh, one of those projects that I'm looking at. Um, the Deep Brain Chain team is actually from the NEO team, if I remember correctly. Uh, Benjamin, it's not that I do not want to. It's, it's just that right now I'm having some issues with the, with the mic. I have to get that sorted out. Okay, another, another, I think a few projects that uh, we can kind of look at is content creation platforms. Content creation platforms, yeah, okay. Uh, Ivan, with regards to Icon, right? Since you are bullish on Icon, yeah, since it took such a big hit, why not? Right, right, why not? Um, Icon is definitely one of those cryptocurrencies that are going to be very popular in its own native country, which is South Korea, right? So this is... This is the, the smart contract platform solutions provider. Yep. I do not own any Walton coin. Never ha have I have I ever owned any WTC. Oh, car vertical? No, I don't believe that shit, man. Uh, car vertical, if I remember correctly, is putting... No, okay. I, I, I kind of read car vertical and also there's another one, bit car. It seems pretty similar. Um, I don't buy that. I don't buy it. Um, it's not important at the moment, in my opinion. It's just a cash grab. You are actually funding. Um, you are actually funding that company's intention to buy uh, cars, right? So I really don't buy. I don't really buy into that. Now, okay. I I saw someone mention in the stream with regards to um, sustainable energy, green energy. Okay, that if it's legitimate. That is something that you might want to consider investing around five to ten percent. That's that's fine. 
I think I think that's a very very good uh, uh realistic uh that realistic goal that can be achieved. And who knows if there's some kind of reward system within uh yeah Power Ledger. I think Power Ledger. Okay, look. I have not officially purchased anything with regards to sustainable energy or green energy related cryptocurrencies, but I am looking at it. Um, the other one with, which I mentioned, which is content creation, um, I do not know any... Okay, so the only one that I can confidently be be uh, happy to talk about is, uh, you know, Steemit at the moment. Steemit is the only one that still has um, that, that platform. The other one that was supposed to be content creation is Tron. Right, but Tron has a lot of controversy. I'm still having only five percent. I'm not allocating too much into it. It's just you know, just put it there. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So that's Tron. Um, Icon, which is also yet another smart contract platform. You guys, I hope you all bought the dip. It went uh, sub seven, sub seven dollar, uh, sub seven dollars, against uh, a B against BTC. Uh, you know, I think it's it's a bit it's a bit low. Power Ledger versus Sun Contract. Now, give me some time to research. Okay, give me some time to research. I will look into these two. Okay, and uh, let's just let's just see what happens. Hey, just look. Uh, X Mad Beach. You may be right. It may be all pure hype. It may be a money grab. But you know what? If it's just five percent to just put it aside, you know, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not brushing it off, but. At the same time, I'm not hyping it up either, right? So, so let's just see whether uh, Justin Sun delivers on whatever he's saying he, he's doing on Twitter. Okay, so right now, uh, I'm very specific with... I, I'm keeping, I'm keeping the, the, the allocation very, very tight. Okay, I'm keeping the allocation very, very tight. So, uh, you know... It's, it's not like I, I want to go all over the place because I believe that beginning of the year, we have to position ourselves well. We have to make sure that we are invested in or at least dedicate enough financial firepower to the respective cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, that is to boost up your positions right now. Okay, these are the, the price points that you want to start buying, which is right now. Then after that, you're looking at, um, you're, right now you have to look at uh, the infrastructure which is smart contract platforms. So if you are someone who believes in Ethereum and Ethereum only, you have already covered that. You don't have to venture into anything else, right? If you don't believe in them. I believe in quantum because right now quantum is replicating the infrastructural developments like Ethereum. So there's no doubt in my mind, quantum is here to stay. Um, it is not at a very good price, but I bought it up. I bought more up recently because quantum is showing itself. Quantum is building something that no one else is building as quickly as, as they are. If you want to compare Icon to Quantum, unfortunately, Icon is still very far away. If you want to con compare Cardano to, to uh, uh, Icon, oh, sorry, Cardano to Quantum, Quantum is still leading, right? EOS, at the end of the day, EOS is still in development as well, okay? So if you go and watch um, Charles Hoskinson's video, right? A large part of the, he mentioned about hash graph, Come, uh, Tangle Network, you know, I, 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 IOTA, right? You are very, I think you all recently kind of uh, talked about IOTA not too long ago because of the partnership, but um, IOTA really tanked very, very hard. F is a pedo chain, bruh. Uh, since, since when, man? Like, you know, is there some news that I didn't, uh, did, did, I, did I not get? Okay, so, um, he, okay, so Charles Hoskinson actually mentioned about CryptoKitties testing the network, right? The network is not ready. It's, it's struggling the moment you have, the, it's struggling the moment you have this game, okay? And the moment this game appeared, right, the whole network started to get congested. So we are still very far away. So that's why when with this recent co uh, uh, correction, right, I'm not fearful. I'm in fact kind of happy, I'm very relieved I can confidently say that if people were to ask me um, right now if I was to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, is that a good choice? I would say it's okay. You know, it's not as disgusting as if I was to tell them to get in at twenty thousand or fifteen thousand. It's very very painful, guys. 
So right now with this huge correction where we lost 50% of the market cap, we hit 800 billion um, just beginning of the year, okay, if you remember. And then after that, we it literally tanked very, very hard. So right now, if you if you see the whole market, it's starting to, 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 to really get killed, you know, but let's observe the next week or so to the next two weeks and see whether it stabilizes on, at 400 billion market cap. Um, right now, everyone is just selling hard. What I would strongly suggest is just gradually buy the dips. Don't panic. Also, don't over leverage. Don't go all in. Don't go in too hard, right? So that's, that's, that's the best thing you can do because I'm sure that there are a lot of people who really wanted to buy uh, their favorite cryptocurrencies. So if you have your allocation already set up, this is the time, right? If you, if you, if you keep sitting at the sidelines, right, then you're not going to get your money in, okay? And I also know the frustration of not being able to transfer the money fast enough in certain occasions. So you make sure that you have your Gemini wallet, make sure you have, uh, you know, maybe if you use Bitstamp, um, you know, uh, these, these, are the, uh, these are the exchanges that at least won't give you any trouble. At the same time, if you want to sell off, you still can sell. Okay, so this is, this is the thing. So yeah, um, what, what may I potentially add to my cryptocurrency, uh, to my portfolio? Green energy, AI deep learning or machine learning, and sustainable energy or green energy. So these are the three that I'm kind of looking at. Oh, and last one, sorry, content creation. Content creation platforms that can give back. They are obviously decentralized. Um, they're not gonna get shut down. Um, less sense censorship, right? They are willing to really give back where, like for example, like Steemit's model. I think Steemit's uh, model is perfect, right? So these are the things that I'm kind of looking at. Uh, the fun stuff like prediction markets, like Bodhi is you know, Bodhi is going to be one of those fun projects. Initially, it was Augur, right? Augur was a prediction market place. I'm not sure whether or not it's still testing. Is it still running already? But I think Bodhi is uh, one of those other projects as well. I'm not sure how far in, right? But these are the things that I'm looking at. And these are just my suggestions, my personal opinion. And whether or not you decide to look in it, into it, why not? Um, with regards to uh, Pundi X, look, the token split is a small issue. I think they did highlight what was the issue, why they did not want to conduct and go through with the token split, right? Because they felt that they didn't want uh, people who have them first manipulating it, okay? So they decided to stop it. It doesn't change the fact of what they are, guys, okay? They are one of the first successful Indonesian uh, ICOs that came out with a product which is the POS they have already um, have orders to ship out their POS system so please have faith in them okay I still have faith in them um, decentralized exchanges this is very questionable okay decentralized exchanges are potentially more secure but what is the interface no one knows right what is the interface going to be like What's it like in terms of uh, liquidity? No one knows. Yes, I'm referring to Pundi X. So, so, but Pundi X in terms of price, it's okay, you know? It's fine because we are having a very weak market, guys. So the token split, if it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's fine. You know, it's, it's, it's okay. Okay, so um, last but not least, uh, some questions, guys, uh, with regards to what concerns do you have? Um, are you concerned about, uh, you know, the markets? You know, just just feel free to ask, right? Three coins that we, we have to buy, buy now. I think it's not about whether we have to buy. I think it's more about what you want to purchase. Okay, what you want to purchase. Because I'm sure you, you can't be asking what, what I want to buy, right? It's more about... What was your financial objective by stepping into this market? You know, and do you understand this market enough or where is it lacking? And then you go out there and look for those projects that kind of suit, uh, suit that, that, uh, that need. Oh, why, why I fucked up? Oh, I fucked up on the stream, guys. I, 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 I fucked up on the audio because just now everyone was struggling to listen. <laughs> so, so that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, because there was this reverb. Uh, on, on my stream just now. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. A lot. Yeah, that's why people thought that I lost money. No, man. Guys, I am very, very well capitalized in this market, man. So, you don't have to worry about me, man. I'm very, very good. Uh, what do you think about EOS? Um, okay. Okay, with regards to losing money, yeah, um, I lost money because the value was way higher prior to this crash, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, I lost money in terms of paper loss because, you know, the whole kind of market tank. But I did mention that I already cashed out a very good portion of my initial portfolio to, uh, to, 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 to cash and go. So, I was very, very tempted, okay? Um, I was very, very tempted to... I was very tempted to actually sell off my gold to buy more uh, cryptocurrencies, but um, I decided not to do that, right? But, but okay, so maybe you're, you're, you're kind of new to the stream. Every year, my strategy is to accumulate gold and also I am here to accumulate um, uh, uh, some, some cash, okay? Because I'm building my business at the moment. All right, so I always will need cash to pay uh, my guys and pay for rental and whatnot. We don't accept, uh, we don't accept cryptocurrencies here in Singapore as of now. As in, I don't mind accepting cryptocurrencies, but it doesn't mean that the the merchants around me accept cryptocurrencies. In fact, a lot of people don't even know about cryptocurrencies now in Singapore. How do you feel about ETC in 2018? Will it become more active as F switches to POS? Okay, so this, I would send this question back to, to, to Charles, right? Because I asked him, what's, you know, what's the deal with proof of work and proof of stake? Um, he mentioned that ultimately both consensus algorithms can coexist. But what is, uh, what, but is it rational to have so much energy and power that could probably take down a whole city to sustain a network. That was his. That was his. Uh, his thoughts, right? And to me, I find that POS is just more friendly, right? It's just more friendly. It's uh, it's more of staking your your tokens. It is also highly risky in a way because if anything happens, you if the network is compromised, some kind of wallet bug. Um, a lot of people could potentially lose their cryptocurrency. So that is one risk. But at the end of the day, I think POS is just more energy efficient. In fact, it doesn't take up much energy. So yeah, I'm looking into that. So I'm still I'm still more a POS guy. So back, uh, so Stomping Partridge, if you ask me whether ETC switches to, uh, to POS, uh, we don't know. Obviously, it would require a hard fork. And uh, if they do that, what kind of uh, reward system would they have for staking? Right? Because right now, maybe you have quite a bunch of ETC, you don't mind staking it. Then, it will have to compete with the rest of the other pre-existing cryptocurrencies that are already POS. Right? So, for example, um, I've been steadily earning about maybe 45 to 60 quantum every month. Okay? So, that in a way is like a passive income. But if you ask me, is it favorable? Um... Because of the amount of quantum that I have, I don't find it very friendly to other people. You cannot like just buy a few hundred or a few thousand dollars worth of quantum and expect to kind of get the exact same return. So I wouldn't say it's that friendly. But if you ask me, I think we all play a part in this ecosystem in one way or another. Even if you're someone who's just buying and not staking, I guess you believe in the project enough that you don't mind hodling. And the project also has been delivering developments that can give you the confidence to hodl despite the fact that you're not staking. Does that kind of, uh, you know, make sense? Yes, um, detail. Funny that you just mentioned that. Um, I just met someone who is very close to the detail project and he actually asked me to help um, uh, sorry, he asked me to sign up on a DTube account and I am definitely going to be doing that. I would like to diversify away from YouTube as well. I mean, it's always good to have more channels, right? And the more channels you have, the less um, likely you are um, susceptible to an account hack or 
getting your videos demonetized and whatnot. And also sometimes, you know, right now I don't really make any money from YouTube and it doesn't matter because I think the most important thing is that I can impart the value to you guys. Um, and, and like I said, this market is just very, very fun. I just love to be involved in it um, in any way I can to, to help the community along. That is basically my payoff or at least my trade-off for doing all this. Okay, do you think this year will be the launching of Lightning Network? Wow, uh, you know, okay, that alone is such a big, that's, that alone, the Lightning Network launching successfully is going to be pretty decent. I think it's going to take Bitcoin to the next level if it really does happen. Um, will it happen? I'm not very, very sure because, you know, uh, it, it is still in development. I think they're still testing it in terms of security, in terms of the way it functions. So if it does launch, I think it solves quite a lot of the current congestion. Um, but I realized that the network is not as congested now. I was sending uh, Bitcoins today and it was actually very fast. But is it still expensive? Um, yeah, yes, it is. It's still expensive, right? Even with this current cor uh, correction, you're spending 8 to $9 per, per transaction. So it's still not friendly. Yeah, I mean, look, 8-bit Pepe, it's good that you realize that you cannot be greedy, right? Like, for example, I was very happy to see, okay, like, like personally, um, in December was when Quantum really, really ramped up. But was I greedy? No. I knew that this kind of euphoria or hype or parabolic movement would only last for so long. So I took profit at anywhere from $55 to $60. Did I catch the high? No, I did not. I, I gradually let it out and I and but why I let it out was the intention to buy back right I didn't let it out so that I can leave the market but by doing so I can actually recuperate and buy back the exact same uh, uh, quantity of quantums right but I still had a amount of cash set aside from this very same action you can do exactly the same for your icon your dragon chain your one chain or whatever whatever you guys like you can adopt the same strategy. Yeah, okay, I've heard quite a bit of uh, Nexus, so I'm going to research on it. It, it sounds very cool, so um, I will research on Nexus and see what this is all about. Can you recommend a good ICO? Right now, um, right now as of now, no. Um, there's, there seems to be no uh, ICO that I can safely jump into because I will be interviewing uh, Dr. Uh, Lou Loy, uh, uh, Loy uh, sorry, Loy Lu uh, at uh, Kyber Network this coming Wednesday. So I don't really have time to go and research on the new ICO at the moment. We are also going to be shifting into our new office very, very soon. So we're really very busy, guys. We have, quite, we have three projects that we're working on uh, concurrently. We are very, very swamped, I tell you. I, I promise you, we're really very swamped. So we will want to look for um, ICOs to participate in. I've kind of uh, got myself into a very strong network of, uh, of people in Singapore that is very active in the ICO scene. So if I come up with anything good, I will definitely want to talk about it and share and get you guys involved, right? So this is one way. Uh, and then at the same time, I'm still someone who believes in going out there and checking these projects, right? Um, I don't believe in just reading the white paper and reading on third-party websites. I'd rather go to the source and I want to get a feel of whether or not I feel confident about investing in this particular individual's project, right? So this is kind of, I, I cannot say that everyone has this opportunity to do that, but since I have the opportunity and since I can do that, I better do it because right now it's not just about me putting my money in, right? Whenever I open my mouth, and anyone, one or two people on the stream decides to do that, and it turns out to be bad, right? It, 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 it can be quite detrimental for those two individuals. So this is something that I take a lot of, um, I, take a, I take that responsibility in a sense. Although, of course, we are all responsible for all our own financial decisions, but because I carry a certain amount of weight in this space, I do not want to take that for granted. And being for the fact that I was, you know, 
a, a, a financial a financial a financial advisor a banker back in the day we were all re- we were all licensed we were all regulated we will always make sure we care for the client because right now it's no point you go and hurt the client and the client doesn't come back right so it's kind of like the same thing although i don't get anything from you guys um but i feel the satisfaction when hey ryan you recommended a good ico hey ryan you got me into quantum you got me into etc at the right time you got me into lt uh, ltc at the right time you know this kind of stuff and from then when you start making money right um like i said it's all good for you and if you just say thank you i'm just happy right but for me when because we have the discord group right we have we have that responsibility to them because they trust us on that kind of level where when we say go in we go in right so we have to have done the groundwork already right we would have done the due diligence already before even opening our mouths it's not just reading white paper guys i wish it was really that simple but it's really not it's not about watching uh, box mining and not saying not saying that all these youtubers do not ask intele- uh, in- intellectual questions but sometimes they don't have a chance to um, see what we see or have that kind of communication that we have person to person and actually you know having that feel is very different from on screen and camera i hope that people understand this fiduciary duty <laughs> no man uh there's no food there's no uh there's no fiduciary duty right it's it's more of why do i want to hurt anyone like for what like for what for subscribers for comments for likes for what you know it's it's it's, it's like okay look i am putting my money in right i am very cautious why do you think i've always talk, been talking about allocation 10%, 5%, 10% ever since I started this channel because I believe that if you do all these things repetitively, it becomes very um, in tune with you. You will not randomly punt everything because a lot of people want to get rich quick. Today's session with Charles Hoskinson also really made me, made me more confident about this space. You know, it made me more confident because he kind of knows that this space is still a long way to go and a lot of people are trying to get rich quick. And he's not that kind of guy, right? And when when I see when I listen to someone like that who has been in the space for so long, he's not interested in um he's not interested in getting rich quick. He's here to build. He's here to deliver, right? So that's why a lot of all these things that we see right now are gonna be very, very challenging. It's gonna be um we are going to, I hope we don't get scammed, right? Because there's, there's going to be one time when the scam is going to be so huge and so well planned that we cannot tell. It's actually going to be very risky, guys. And that is when, okay, let me, let me just share, let me just share um, a few things with you, okay? Um, let's set crypto aside. Let's talk about just a normal business. If it's very well funded and fronted, you want to have an office, you can have an office. You want to have um, employ staff, you can employ staff. You want to have a logo, you can you can have all this. Okay, I'm talking about when you want to invest in ICOs. They can put up all this, right, just so that they can scam people. Do you know that? And, and at the end of the day, the scam can be very long drawn in the sense that they'll get the money in. Okay, they'll, get the, they'll raise the money from ICO. And then from then, eventually what they'll do is that they will draw, they will, they will make it very long drawn. They will say, give us two to three years. And then after a while, the market kind of forgets that, you know, I even have this project. Because everyone's not invested heavily enough sometimes to even care because they will move to one. After they, they kind of, they, they, after a while, they kind of like, ah, oh, okay, the, the, the spotlight is not on me. Suddenly, it just goes quiet. It will happen, guys. Trust me when I say this, it will happen. And I hope that people understand where I'm coming from we cannot avoid it sometimes. There will be these kind of occasions. This is still the Wild West. And that's why I'm really banking on, that's why I'm currently banking on regulation so that if there's a certain regulation in place that these projects are going to be accountable to its investors, then this space starts to get a little bit more safe in that sense. Because I know for a fact that if you want to have regulation step in, then you know the government gets involved and you know it, it gets very difficult. There's no freedom to invest. There's no financial inclusion. Maybe they're going to exclude sanctioned countries 
all these things, right? I'm, I'm not a, a politician or any, anything, but I'm just thinking for the fact that there's the reason why cryptocurrencies is popular is because someone else somewhere out there in the world has that opportunity to invest in something big. In the past, they don't have this opportunity. Now they do, right? Like say they believe in Cardano. They, they've seen uh, Charles uh, Hoskinson in action. They know that he was one of the founding members of Ethereum. So they say that, hey, Cardano is now currently at, at uh, uh, having an ICO. Um, Cardano is now trading at, you know, uh, 38 cents. You know, I can buy $100 worth of that and see what happens. They have a chance, right? But a lot of people are saying that Cardano can be a scam. I'm thinking, look, man, Charles Hoskinson is someone reputable. Why would he, why would he do that? Like, why? Why would you just do that? You know, it doesn't even make sense. But then again, could he do that? Why not? But, I'm, but I have no doubt in my mind he won't do such a thing. Because, look, he has come at that stage where he's so well-recognized in the community. It's just like saying that Andreas Antonopoulos is trying to, trying to sell you books. He is someone who um, doesn't care about the whole space. He's just going around, spending so much time going from one country to another, preaching about Bitcoin, preaching about how the network works, talking and educating people. You think people are so free? You think he's not rich enough to retire? You know what I'm saying? Do, do you kind of understand where I'm going? I'm not talking specifically about Charles Hoskinson. I'm talking about trying to understand the people in the space. Who are these people, you know? And, and then gradually you make, you form, you formulate that opinion in your head. So it's very bad to just blanket and say that, you know, all these are scams and whatnot. Sometimes they, you know, sometimes they are, right? I already highlighted the, the, the office analogy, having an office, wanting to, to, to have staff, um, hiring uh, uh, blockchain developers and whatnot just to create that front and then after a while you just pack up it could happen we cannot avoid it this is the risk that we have to undertake when we are investing in cryptocurrencies uh, well crypto crypto w it's not regulation is not for noobs okay regulation is just to have some kind of framework in place so that there is some kind of transparency right there's some kind of transparency. It, there are people who really want to get into this space, but they really don't know what to do, right? And they, they need to have a reliable source. Sometimes not everyone wants to watch YouTube. Not everyone wants to listen to a guy on YouTube that is talking about all this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the government, guys. I don't represent, I represent crypto grinders, right? So sometimes they want to like hear it from the government. What's the government's stand on this? And if that kind of gets the whole space moving, so be it. It's all good for us. Yes, okay, look, BTC is self-regulated and it has that transparency, okay? But altcoins also have a, have a place in this space. ICO is not a bad thing. It's just that there are bad actors in this space that cause ICO to look bad. You, 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 you get what I'm saying, right? It is... People who are always misusing the system that fucks up the creates a really bad reputation in this space. That's the reason. Okay, um, Uh, Martin Max King, how long to mean adoption? Very long, my friend. Very, very long. Because right now, Bitcoin is not doing what it's supposed to do as a, a currency. Bitcoin right now is actually more of a store of value, right? Because not, not everyone is going to transact at a few thousand dollars. You know, sometimes they want to transact in a, an, in a few hundred dollars to uh, five to ten dollars. It's not doing that. So a lot of other cryptocurrencies are kind of um, taking its place like Litecoin, um, Ethereum, um, you know, Bitcoin Cash, all these countries. No, no, it dropped, it dropped maybe because of India, but India is just regulating uh, cryptocurrencies. Nothing to do with, nothing to do with, they're not banning the whole thing. They're just regulating, right? Um... Uh, Geox, crypto, yes, I agree. Right now, I think people are accepting the fact that Bitcoin is going to be a store of value.
All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for being so patient with me. Um, I, I know that I, I messed up at the initial part of the stream with the audio. I, I, I'm very happy that at least you guys are willing to come back to the stream and listen to what I have to say. Um, like I said, thank you so much for you know always just supporting the channel. Um, don't forget to smash that like button. And last but not least, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click on the uh, click on the notification button so that if I have any new videos or I want to impart my thoughts to you guys and update you guys, you guys will be the first to be updated. And also those who are watching this, especially when it's really early in the morning for you, um, God bless you. And at the same time also, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care and have a very, very good weekend with the family. Bye.